Komodo dragon's strange pregnancy is defying logic and confusing experts. You're on vacation in Bali taking a calm walk through the lush forest, clearing your mind of stress. Suddenly, you hear rustling ahead of you and gasp in horror as an eight-foot reptile comes bounding out of the bushes, its tongue hissing and claws scraping wildly at the muddy ground. It's a Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons are the largest living lizards on the planet, and you definitely don't want to come face to face with one. They're not native to the United States, but the Chattanooga Zoo in Tennessee is lucky enough to have some in captivity. Recently, one of the females left workers in complete awe after giving birth. Growing up to 9 feet long and weighing a whopping 200 pounds, Komodo dragons are not the kind of animal you keep as a pet. Females are slightly smaller, but these lizards command attention. Just like most other reptiles, Komodo dragons carve out dens for themselves to lay batches of eggs. And a zoo in Tennessee, which houses several of the lizards, had a fascinating experience with one of the pregnancies. The Chattanooga Zoo is one of the best places for people to visit traveling through Tennessee. It houses a large variety of exotic wildlife, and one of their most popular species, for good reason, is the Komodo dragon. In one of the enclosures, zoo workers paired a female named Charlie and a male named Kadal in hopes they would mate and reproduce. Eventually, Charlie gave birth to three children. The workers named them Onyx, Jasper, and Flint. And not long after they hatched, they were brought in for tests to ensure they were in good health. One of those procedures was a standard blood test. The veterinarian who performed the blood test, along with the rest of the procedures, assumed all the information they gathered would be straightforward. However, the experts were shocked and confused to learn something about the offspring. Kadal was not the father. To outsiders, this seemed impossible. Charlie had met no other reptiles in the enclosure, yet somehow gave birth. Strange as it sounded, the experts had an answer already. They guessed Charlie went through a process called parthenogenesis, which allows females to give birth without sperm. Famously, in Christianity, the Blessed Mother gave birth to Jesus without the aid of a man. Some animals can do the same. There are certain species of snakes, stick insects, and sawfish that have the ability to replicate their DNA and produce genetically identical clones of themselves. That's exactly what happened with Charlie. Zoo workers were in awe that Charlie went through the process. They felt thrilled that Onyx, Jasper, and Flint were eager to study their new world, and biologists were just as eager to study these babies. There's no species like Komodo dragons. This guy better be super careful while talking to the camera. Sure, it seems like the lizards mellowed out at the moment, but the speed at which he could whip around and tear a hand off is insane. That's right, these guys are quick. They can sprint along the ground at a speed of up to 13 miles per hour, which means when they suddenly spring an attack, prey has little time to react. If they're hungry and on the prowl, they'll pretty much hunt anything, no matter the size. Even if the lizards just wound their prey, their saliva contains poison that eventually kills it. Luckily, those who don't live in Indonesia don't need to worry about ever encountering one of these reptilian goliaths. They strictly inhabit the five Indonesian islands. And Indonesia places much importance on the animal. There's actually a Komodo dragon printed on one of the country's rupiahs, their national currency. It's not every day you see an animal printed on money, but Komodo dragons are unique enough to deserve it. Their jaw strength and jagged chompers allow them to tear through even the toughest material. It doesn't matter if a carcass has been dried out for days, it's a delicious meal for these creatures every time. That's exactly the kind of mouth you want to stay far away from if you're just wandering around minding your own business. Those rows of teeth can tear through flesh like a hot knife through butter. Their skin is tough and ridged so they can rustle their way through the thick and rugged forest brush without fear of thorns or splintered branches piercing through. And it also helps with confrontations. These two lizards look like they're battling Roman Colosseum style. It doesn't matter they're the same species. They have nasty temperaments, and they'll stand their ground no matter how big or fast their aggressor is. Chattanooga's Komodo dragon Charlie drew a lot of attention to the birthing process of the famed lizard species. 
Research like that going into these Komodos helped experts at another USA Zoo understand one of their own inhabitants.